Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. This is not something that I would usually be doing. Um, this is actually an unboxing video. Uh, this video is going to be about the Skymarks Boeing 787-8 model. Um, it's actually pretty nice actually. It's a metal model. I did not buy this. Um, my dad actually works at Air Canada and as a Christmas thank you or whatever you want to call it. They gave one of these to each person. The original sale value is about fifty dollars, so it's pretty good. And this is not like one of those toy ones. This is like a metal one, and it's it's nice. It comes in a nice stand. Good to put on your on your dresser table, whatever you want to put it on. So let's just get right back into this video. Um, let me just check my recording here. Still going good. All right. Um, so top it says collect them all. Start your collection with the airplanes you have flown on. Add to your collection with aircraft from around the world. No glue required. True to scale model. Simple snap fit design. Aircraft of the world. Sky mark says over there. Um, the back is basically just the type of airplane that it is. So you can see that there. That's what it is. Um, price, uh, I mean, the little barcode scan thing is right there. Right there. Sorry, I'm not good at this camera thing. I'm better at filming at the airport. Duran Worldwide Training Incorporated. It says right there. Um, price tags on the side there. Um, Alright, so let's get right back into it. Um, so we're going to open it up from the side over here. So it just comes out right like that. Um, you just have to. <clears throat> there's a little plastic cover that you can take off. Here's the actual body of the airplane. It's actually pretty heavy. Like I said, it's metal. So let's set that off to the side over here. Once you open it up, put that over there. This is a list of everything that comes in the packaging. Um, it's a Skymark, solid body Skymarks, sturdy construction, easy snap fit assembly, blah, blah, blah. All like that. These are all different kinds of airplanes that you can get in it. There's a lot more. It's just that this is all they have on this pamphlet. Um, this is, I think, I think this is all the airplanes that they have. You guys can't even read that because it's a small font. But that's basically that. Throw that on the side. Here we have our left wing over here. Um, this is the left wing right over here. It's actually nice. I like how they actually put a lot of detail into it. The engine snap on on the bottom. Put that on the side. Um, here's the right wing over here. This, I like how the design is on this wing as well. They're both actually symmetrical. It's not like one of those fake plastic ones that doesn't work properly or they're not symmetrical. Here are the two engines. They come in like a little, like a bag, sort of. I don't know what it's called, but I'll take that out after. Here's a stand over here. It says a Canada Boeing 787, scale 1 to 200. And then the stands on the bottom. And also in there, we have the tail. The tail of the aircraft right there. So that's pretty cool. Put that on the side. Here's little instructions we have over here and several instructions. By the way, I actually already have one of these. Um, I can get that in a little bit. Um, because when the 77 first came out, when Canada first bought it, my dad got one of these as well. Um, and now we have another one. So, that's it right there. Um, you can put that on the side. Here's the actual stuff for it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So here's the airplane. It's, like I said, it has a nice feel to it. <clears throat> it has all the design that you'd see, like in the actual aircraft itself, or on the actual aircraft itself. Um, so these just snap right into here, these wings. They just snap right into that. So we'll do that in a little bit. I need to get my knife out over here. Now on my other model, we do not have this. We have the stand, 
but it's not like a, it's not like a, it doesn't paint, it doesn't say Air Canada, and it's not painted or anything like that. So, this one's actually being a lot nicer. Um, let me just see if I can get my other one, real quick. Yeah, I see. This is what the old one looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. The stand is just plain wood. This one is, I think it actually looks a lot better with the actual Air Canada logo and all that stuff with that on it. Um, so yeah, I have two of these airplanes now. I guess I'll just put them side by side and make it look like they're formation flying or something. Um, so that's that. This is not the tail actually. I know I said it's the tail. These are actually the, the elevators, the stabilizers. So that obviously goes on the back of the aircraft. Um, let's go ahead and open up these engines. These engines are nice. They um, they also have a nice, very nice feel to them. They ra they rattle around. It's not because they're bad quality. It's actually because the propeller on the inside actually spins. I don't know if you can tell that, but it actually spins on the inside of the propeller. So. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but the pearl inside is actually spinning. So we'll put all that to the side. And now for the elevators. Alright, hold on. Let me just open this up a little more. There's our right elevator right there. Um, and now here is our left one. And here's our left one. So we're going to go ahead and actually pop these on the airplane itself. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the right wing. So the way to do this is you pretty much just have to pop it into place. There's no better way to say it. So you just gotta kinda... It just pops right into place. Or maybe it doesn't. There might be something else that you actually have to do. Yeah, they actually do pop into place. It's just that they make it really tight to go into place so that if you ever drop this aircraft, nothing's going to break. Um, so yeah, there we go. The right wing is on. Looks very nice indeed. And now we'll pop in the left airplane. I mean the left wing. I'm sorry if my hand is also getting in the way, guys. I'm just, I'm not good at this camera stuff. I'm more better at plane spotting and stuff like that. So, the left wing is now in. Now we can put in the elevators. Um, okay, yeah, here's the right elevator. And here's the left elevator. There's a the plane, guys. Um, if I can just find the engines, I would put that in as well. There we are. Um... I'm not exactly sure if I put both the engines on the right way. I don't know if the right one's supposed to be on the left or the left one's supposed to be on the right. But that's how I have it on right now. I'm pretty sure you guys would yell at me in the comments if I got it on wrong anyway. But um, that's the airplane right there. Then the stand is right here on the bottom. Um, how's the stand going? on? Just like that. Okay, so the, the stand just pops right into place there. See this, the older stand, you actually have to screw it into place. And there was, uh, I don't know if you can see. Let me just focus the camera over here. Um, but right there, you actually have to screw it into place. There's a little screw that came with it. Um, so this one, you just have to pop it in. And it seems pretty tight, so it's not like it's going to ever break or anything like that. So... And then you just have to slide it into there. So there it is, guys. Um, let me put this down on a hard surface here. 
I guess I can put that right there. There's the aircraft. That's what it looks like. I think it's actually pretty. It's actually a very nice aircraft. Um, it looks cool. I like it. So it so it is indeed my favorite aircraft that Air Canada just recently bought. Um, my dad works on it, so I've been in the aircraft several times, although not in the air, not flying in the air. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me get the other one here. There they are, both of them. Um, so I guess I'll have this. I don't know how I'm going to put this up. I guess I'll put it up somewhere where they're both right next to each other. This stand is actually smaller than the older model. Um, so yeah, I'll hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. Just a little update. Next week, I'm going to be going to Florida. So I might be plane spotting over there at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Um, I don't know, uh, this meant this trip is meant to get be a way to get close with my family and just have a good time. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be focusing on YouTube during that time. I know videos have not been coming out lately. It's because of school and a lot of other busy things I'm doing in my life. So, um, yeah, I might be plane spotting over there. If not, hopefully this weekend I'll go down to the airport and I'll plane spot here in Toronto. Um... But, yeah, guys, if you like, please comment, subscribe, and like the video. It would be a great help. And I'm sorry, again, that my hands keeps, keeps on getting in the way of the camera. I'm not very good at this at all. Um, like I said, I'm more better at just spotting instead of actually talking in the video a lot and doing unboxings and stuff like that. Um, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you. I'll see you in the next video.